friends, Nibs again. Um, pretty crummy night out again. Uh, supposed to be overdoing <clears throat> Bullseye League tonight, but we had a busy, busy day at work, and I just really didn't feel like going out driving anymore. I drove about six hours today. I had to go <laughs> for a long drive away, do an estimate, and then come back. So, <clears throat> But anyway, I didn't want to not get out and do something though so i thought i would do something a little bit different here um what i uh <clears throat> gonna be doing today is uh just uh doing a little bit of a, like a bench rest test with uh my bike hell and uh again we're just doing about 20 feet across the garage here i'm gonna be testing with uh got several different pellets here um Terry on my channel there, he keeps telling me I need to try out some some hollow points. So <clears throat> I did bring out my, my tin of hollow points and we'll give those a try. Uh, I also have some uh, RWS Super Domes, trusty old Daisy flat points. Uh, got some RWS Hobby uh, wad cutters. Uh, got some Meister Coogans, <laughs> have to say that. And uh, also, uh, the fellow I bought this gun off from sent these pellets along with it, and he said, I need to try these in this gun, so uh, I intend to do that. So, appreciate that, Brian. Um, so, so, in an effort to keep this you know, from not being an hour long, I think I'm only going to do probably maybe like three pellets of each type. I have uh, six bullseyes, same, same one I was using for my Walther LGR. Uh, yesterday uh, with the little tiny bullseyes but uh, I did check a couple just take a couple practice shots before I started up just to make sure it was uh, zeroed and uh, I did have to come up a couple clicks just to uh, did a couple of different ones and they were all hitting a little low so I brought it up a couple clicks and then they were all hitting right in the center dot so Let's, uh, <clears throat> hopefully we can duplicate that on camera, but you know how I am. So, uh, these are the, the Vogels, and those are going to be going to the upper left uh, bullseye here. I guess I'm really not so much going for what the dead in the bullseye with each one is, you know, how well they actually group, so. I am taking a better, better look at um, each of the pellets before I put them in the gun too, because I had one yesterday. I don't know if it was a damaged pellet or That's why we do this testing, right? So we'll do, uh, like I said, we'll do three of each type, and then uh, you guys are watching it live here, how it goes, so I really don't have to uh, do much of a, a roundup. But. This sighting system definitely is not as easy on my old eyes as the uh, peep sights on that Walther, definitely. But everybody's got to have their excuses, right? <laughs> All right, so now these are going to be the uh, Meister Coogans, and that's going to be the upper center uh, bullseye. It's hitting low now. I just, I just, those are the two I just tested, and they were hitting right in the center of the, the bowl. So, okay. I 
one in the same hole. It is raining like crazy out right now, so glad to be able to be indoors and staying dry, staying warm, staying shooting. bottom of the same hole again so that's a nice looking group all right let me see here these next ones are going to be the rws hobbies and uh these ones are a seven grain so these are the lightest ones i'll be shooting tonight <clears throat> this one will be going to the upper right hand target Uh, the Walther I, I got when I tested that one yesterday it, it liked these light ones really well so again I believe as far as I can tell a little low though I don't know why it's continuing to top of the same hole again so <clears throat> not a bad group for the RWS hobbies so I'll move over to the other side of the table here so these ones are going to be the RWS uh, super domes they call them these ones are a 8.3 grain pellet so some of the heavier ones will be shoot second heaviest ones will be shooting the uh, the Vogels were the heaviest they are uh, 8.4 grains. So this one's going to be at the lower left target. Yeah, that one was right up where it needs to be. So let's see if we can keep that up. I do like the way those wad cutters go through that paper. Makes a nice clean punch. Yeah, that's a good looking, good looking ball, good looking group too. Try, uh, try some of these other ones with the, the Walther next, I guess. Oh, that one was a little, little to the right. I think it's still technically touching the other hole, so. <clears throat> All right, so let's see now. We're gonna move on to the Crossman. Premier hollow points. So this will be going to the lower center target. These Crossman Premiers are 7.9 grains, so they're kind of middle of the road for all of the uh, targets we're testing here. It's 
It's in the target. Not in the center of the target, but it's in the target. But most of the other groups aren't in the center of the target either, so. I don't see a new hole. I, I think that went in the same hole as the last one. We'll have to check that out a little closer. Okay, here's the, the third Premier Hollow Point. Looks like it went into the top of the same hole, so it made the hole a little bit wider, but still, still a one hole group down there for that one. Not bad, not bad at all. <clears throat> Alrighty, running a little long here, but that's okay. Can't rush science, right? So the last one's going to be our tried and true uh, Daisy flat points, 7.6 greens. These ones just shoot really well out of pretty much anything I shoot them out of, so. And it like, I don't know, I, I found some local uh, and they were selling them for five bucks a tin. I wish I had bought more because now they don't have them. And, they're a little more expensive online. They're, they're closer to 10 bucks a tin online. Uh, but it's still not bad. Compared to a lot of... Yeah, it was a little off in the last one. All right, I really can't call it from here, guys. I'm gonna have to go grab that box and bring it back here and we'll take a look. None of them are terrible groups. They're all really nice. Uh, but uh, if I, I can tell right off the bat that, uh, so the two that are the best are the, the RWS Super Domes and the these older uh, Meister Coogans. So these older Meister Coogans are uh, 8.5 grains, but uh, that is basically two pellet widths the Meister Coogan and then the uh, Super Domes are basically the same thing. Um, the the hollow points, the hole is not touching. The uh, the Vogels, the hole holes are not touching. Uh, the daisies, the holes are touching, and the uh, what was the other one? What was the other? Oh, the hobby, the RWS hobby. Those, those ones are touching. So, looks like RWS is really the winner on this one. But uh, um, the Daisies did really well. Um, I mean, the Premiers are not terrible at all. Um, just the, the the one, the one pellet is just not touching. So, very right, there, friends. I uh, wanted to throw this quick in for you guys. Um, I did uh, redo the test. Uh, over again uh, with the same six pellets and uh, they uh, actually did pretty well they all did pretty well um, the only one that didn't do better than it did the first time was the daisies uh, 
started spreading out a little bit, but that's probably just me and that's annoying, I'm sure. But uh, Crossman's really did pretty good that time. Uh, Bogles were all in one hole. Uh, the Meister Klugens were a very tight group. Uh, and the RWS Hobbies were a very tight group. But uh, if I have to give a, a winner between the two rounds, uh, the, the Super Domes, the RWS Super Domes, uh, definitely, <clears throat> definitely are the uh, clear winner in my mind anyway. So anyway, back to the video. Alrighty friends, one more quick add on here. Um, I had forgotten, I had also got these, uh, so the Meister, Coug Meister Coogans that I was shooting uh, originally in the, in the original test was these uh, old production ones. And uh, these ones are actually 8.5 grains. But I forgot I had these ones that are actually uh, newer production and they are uh, 7.0 grains. And I wanted to try those, I've been meaning to try those, I forgot I had them. And uh, I think the results are uh, are pretty good. I did shoot two three shot groups. This was the first one, uh, basically uh, one hole there. This one is separated a little bit, but still a really good group. Um, so I figured it was worth sticking that in here, extra minute of time. So these are the uh, new production. So it looks like that's like a pistol shooter. I don't know if the heavier ones are intended to be a, a rifle pellet, but uh, they, they shoot pretty good out of my, my pistol and my rifle so for what it's worth back to the video anyway um, this was a lot of fun doing this one um, I'm probably gonna do a little bit more off camera but uh, I don't want to make this video be too long but uh, hope you guys appreciate the video I really uh, thank everybody for being on the channel uh, I have a lot of fun doing this and uh, the uh, back and forth between everybody in the comments is, is a lot of fun too so um, if you like the video, like, share, and subscribe. Invite some, invite some friends. Uh, let them know about this uh, old guy with the gray hair out here shooting, shooting everything, shooting everything up. But uh, hopefully the next time uh, we'll be out at the range, be nice and warm. But uh, until then, you guys have a great day.